All right, here we are, back with our 2020 beer in review. Uh, this time we're uh, reviewing our fourth brewed beer this year. This was a, it was a variation of a style that we've done before and we really like the wit. Um, wit is one of our finalized recipes that we really like, really enjoy. We kind of had the recipe nailed down. Uh, based upon that, we wanted to kind of branch out. We like some of the fundamentals of that recipe. So we wanted to kind of put a variation on it use some different hops, and then um, this was also our first introduction, um, in, besides the cherry, uh, into actually using like a, uh, um, a fruit in there. So we did like a raspberry puree in, in a few of these iterations. So this is our uh, raspberry wet, uh, and we did it specifically for uh, Josh's bachelor party. So it was, uh, it was, we wanted to do a lighter beer uh, that we can join in the summertime. Easily drinkable, add a little bit of sweetness, and then um, change the hops up a little bit. Yep, exactly. So, style notes for BJCP, we're looking for aroma, moderate, strong, uh, either fruity Easters, sometimes banana. Mm -hmm. We're looking for a noble hop characteristic, ranges from low to none. We're looking for appearance. Uh, we're doing pale straw to very dark gold in color, so it's going to be on the lighter side. Okay. Flavor, looking low to moderate, strong banana to clove flavor. Mm -hmm. The balance and intensity of the Easter ester components can vary. Okay. And mouthfeel, medium to light body, overall impression, pale, spicy, fruity, refreshing. Okay. And that's kind of what we're going for. We're going something with a little bit of flavor, refreshing, something that we can drink in the summer. That's why originally we brewed it. Uh, we did the raspberry because we're looking to infuse different fruits in the beers to see how they play. And we're also trying to see what the infusion styles that we were going for, whether it be concentrate, whether it be from juice, whether it be full fruit, how those played into the beer and when to introduce them. So we did three different, two different styles on this one. Yep. Yeah, we have two different offering of our wit. So to Josh's point, a uh, big piece of it was um, a little bit lighter in that wit style, um, where it was like that 50-50% like a uh, little bit of pale malt, flaked wheat, and we did some flaked oats as well, kind of have that, um, that wheat style beer. And then for this, we used the citra hops. Uh, just because we like the flavor profile of that, we wanted to kind of switch up a bit, get a little bit of the style guidelines, and as well, we added raspberry. So the two iterations we're going to try today is our control, so our just our, our basic wit with the citra hops, and then as well as three pounds of raspberry puree uh, for every five gallons. So we have two different offerings today. You want to crack it, Zach? Sure. We'll start with the control. So uh, also a little primer here. The ABV is about 5.6 percent. The IBU is around 23. And the SRM is about four. So it's gonna be a lighter colored beer, uh, not too hoppy, but it has a little bit of that bitterness taste, um, as well as about 5.6%. So a little bit easier drinking, to your point, Josh, kind of like what you're looking for. A little bit easier drinking, um, and uh, a little bit easier on the palate there. So this is true to style guidelines, IBUs. We're looking from eight to 15, which we fall within. Okay. SRM's eight, uh, excuse me, two to eight. Oh, actually, we have, this is 23, so this one, I think oh, we deviated okay. for the Citra because uh, the alpha acids are a little bit different. So I think we did. It's a little bit more of that taste in there. Okay. But yeah, the ABV right is right in that line. So that was the biggest change was the hop okay. based on this one. We still use crushed coriander. We did not use crushed orange peel like we usually do for our uh, basic style of our wit. Um, but we use the coriander as well to kind of get that little spiciness in there as well. Here we go. All right, give it a go. Cheers. 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 This is a pine roll. Uh, Josh is wet. The control. Great color, I think. Mm -hmm. I think color is true. Head yeah. looks good. Which would make sense because this, I believe, is the same grain bill as our other wet. And we love the color on that. It takes the coriander right off the rip. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Especially in the control here where there's not as many um, uh, taste and flavors yeah. kind of playing into it. It has a little bit of that spiciness. And you can definitely tell this one's hotter than our regular way. Yeah. You can smell the, the, the citra hop on that just because it has a different taste profile. It's bubbly. It's almost like champagne, kind mm -hmm. of. This is higher carbonation. Yeah. Yeah. 
For our lighter style like this, yes. And I think that blends in well with the lighter style, having that heavier carbonation. Yes, I agree. It's refreshing. Yeah, it's Very refreshing. refreshing. Right, like and it's not overpowering either. Like sometimes the um, the um, carbonated, yeah. it can be overcarbonated essentially, and it's a little bit much. But this seems pretty nice. It has a little bit of carbonation, but it's not super heavy. It's crisp. It's clean. It's clear. Yeah. Yeah. So. So you said there's two iterations of this. There was a, a secret third one. Mm -hmm. What happened with that one? So that one is mostly consumed. We did it in a keg. We did a very, very limited amount of bottles of that. Um, but mostly we had it for his bachelor party. We had uh, we enjoyed that one, which I believe was our favorite. Our favorite, group. yeah. Because we did a taste testing originally, and uh, that was 1.5 pounds of raspberry puree per five gallons. Which we're finding kind of is our, our sweet our sweet spot. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it, I'll finish mine. Should we keep a little bit just to compare color? Sure. With one of these. Sure, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for we sure. Have another glass so I can, we can pour up. We, we could, yeah. So oh, we can, I, can, I can keep mine and then we want to get that next one cracked. Yeah, we can pour just to yes. compare. Yep, yeah, yeah but get that next one cracked just so we can get that side by side. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it's very easy it's to crisp. Crisp. Very crisp. It's nice. Yep. It almost reminds me of a, a cider in some ways. It's because of the hop, because the hop profile, I think. Chris, you got a towel? It's carbonated. Carbonated. <laughs> Send that that way. Get that in there quick. Ah, nice. Wow. I don't, I don't think this one I think it's carbonated, carbonated yet. We've never had an over carbonated beer. Phil, now! Good man, John just got shot. Yeah, I'm dead shot, man. Do you think we got that broom at? Holy shit. Oh, shit. Look at that color. Do we have to look at that? It's pretty well at the end, maybe, right? Okay. I don't think there's anything too important on that. Okay. Plus, you're doing side controlling? Yep. Okay, let's crack that third one. Let's see if that one's up to have any of the same. Yeah, get the okay. towel. You might want to keep that here. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. Thank you. Look at that, man. Look at that color. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that color. You want to hold that up, Josh? With it? Yeah. Do it. This is the background. Raspberries can do. Okay, this one. Oh, no. No, it's going. Oh, it's going. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Not too bad. That one is more, but yeah, it's still yep. going. That one's definitely darker. Way different. Yeah, there's definitely a color difference on it. Way that. different on it. Yeah. This is clear. Very cloudy. Day. And look at those. Yeah. It's clear. Wow, look at that inconsistency. That's clear. So we've got a, little, a big difference. And both those caps are what, three? Yeah, well, they're both three. The control. Yeah, no, these two. These two look, these two look a lot different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably depending on how much sediment was kicked up on the bottom. Okay. I, I would think. I would think. Then purely in the bottle, I can tell the difference between the two. Yeah. Look at the color on the bottle. Right. Right. Look how dark that one is compared to that. Yeah, so probably uh, one was bottled before the other. This one is probably sooner yeah, that because was in the, the dip tube is out the yeah. bottom. That would be my thoughts okay. initially. I'm not sure if that's necessarily accurate, but um, because of the puree it. method that we used, I would think that the puree would settle to the bottom more than likely. The smell of this is like, yeah, holy shit, this. just smell that one. Oh my God. Or maybe one's 1.5 okay. and it was so labeled incorrectly. Oh, stronger. Possibly. I think so. Because I thought I put one of each The two on caps there. should be here, right? I mean, this may be, is this the 1.5 that I just label it incorrectly? I don't know. Because I thought I did one of each, but I, they both tastes pretty right? similar. They do taste pretty similar. similar. Yep. Okay. Yep. Which was fine. Yeah, it's, it's pretty surprising. sweet smelling for, and it's lighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So the smell on it is just absolutely amazing. It's it smells good, like yeah. a, a straight raspberry patch. Yeah. It does, yeah. 
like a raspberry smoothie, I think somebody wants it, though. Yeah, that's what it kind of looks like, this three. Yeah, heavy on the smell, which is nice. I like raspberries a lot. I think so. Yeah, it's, stay, it's, really uh, it's got a little bitterness. It's nice. Summer, and you, and yeah. you know what? At first I said, this beer's okay, it's pretty good. Um, but when we most recently tried it when we were up north, yeah. I tried. I came back to it and I tried it again. And I thought it was very refreshing. I, I liked it more than, yeah. than my first impression. Because mm. um, usually I'm not too keen on a, a sweeter beer. Um, just because of all the sugars introduced. Yeah. Obviously because of puree, you know, the sugars in that. But um, it was better than I, than I remembered. Yeah, I, I wouldn't drink seven in a row, but I would definitely have multiple. Yeah. Like, oh, like in a, a nice hot day or even, yeah. you know, whatever. Right. Or the shitty 30 degrees of snow coming Right, out. yeah. Like, that right. was still refreshing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right, no matter the weather. That's tasty. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the, going back to the, the actual standard wit that we had. Uh -huh. I think that's an amazing base mm -hmm. to introduce flavors, but not as strong as this. This is, yeah. I think, Overwhelmingly, okay, yeah, above the, the taste yeah. that we're looking for, true to the style. Do you the subtle taste is fine, but I think this is just overwhelming. At, yeah, at the three, it's but not I think true. That. Yeah. yeah, right. So, the 1.5, I think, yeah, one, the one, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, that we drank, <laughs> we drank, yeah. yeah, you know, even if we did something like that where we did like 0.75. Mm -hmm. And that introduced more of like an orange peel, you know, flavor yeah, too. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, I, I think yeah. maybe keep orange with it because orange pretty much goes with any type yeah. of fruit throw in there. Orange. So like orange and raspberry, yeah. that would work, you know. Raspberry orange smoothie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you think to like a fruit smoothie? Yeah. Yeah, because this you is like a fruit smoothie. Yeah. You know, it's it's this, come, this is you know. the. I mean, this is dark. Do this. you like the hops that we had there and the bitterness of that? Because that's a little different than our original recipe, which we wanted because we wanted to branch out a little bit. But I feel like it lends itself well to a fruitier, sweeter element added to it. Because there's the citrus in it? Right. The other one is a little uh, more bitter and it kind of coincides with the orange and the coriander. This one kind of was more citrusy, grapefruity kind yeah. of thing. That's tough. Because mm -hmm. I would actually like to see that with the orange because orange is citrusy you know so they might okay. complement each other well right i was digging at the base the control okay uh, control sure. well, okay so, so the yeah. center hops then. yeah yeah so like if, you had, if you threw orange in there i think we well i have, yeah to that yeah. point if you want to do just well, yeah, regular of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. orange okay well, but i was asking the hops that in this yeah. one versus the way yes is it still yeah, yeah. No, i like the hops yes, i agree I yep. oh you like the citra on yes this one. okay for this application i think so i agree because it's a little bit different as well Yep. So we like the center, okay. And keep it around the same level because this is higher than a wet, but you know it, it's lighter on the, the bitterness as well. Mm -hmm. But it's higher than style guidelines, and that's what we're going for. Though we're going for something that's a little bit different mm -hmm. out of the comfort zone. Okay, cool. So we like the citra. How about the color? I mean, the color is going to vary. Well, the color is way varied here. Because I think, um, and to your point, I think the 0.75 pounds. Of raspberry may be nice, um, but more so as point. Uh, how about the, the color of the control? Perfect. Like it's that. nice, right? Because okay. yeah. yeah. that's gonna be our that's gonna be our true baseline. Because because we're gonna adjust the amount of raspberry, raspberry from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is what it is at that point. But as long as our, our control is where we want it, yeah. that's about perfect. I think okay. It's cool. I think the control lends itself well to any. Fruit that we you could, could add yeah. fruit. Here. We could put blueberry, yeah. raspberry, yep. put cherry, we could put strawberry, you know, whatever. Mango, okay. boysenberry. You, you could put yeah, you could put a uh, half of bisonberry or whatever you want. It's a good it's a good berry, sash kawana berry and that one. I think it, it's a good that, it's a good control <laughs> where you can manipulate it and it lends itself where you can mm -hmm. you know, yeah. play well with it. Okay. Good. Very very friendly beer. Okay, good. All right, Chris, we'll start with you. What was your rating out of five? Man. Are, are we, we rating the control? Or yeah, which one are we rating? Control, the three pounder, the one and a half pounder that I hold so fondly in my head. So we I would say the recipe as a whole, because I mean, three together. Yeah, 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 I mean, because I'll, it down, I'll give you, I'll give you. Because we can rate the control. I mean, because okay. more, I guess more so the control, because we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna mess with the amount of raspberry, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. and we're gonna add orange. So maybe like a collective okay. overall impression. Overall, yeah. Yeah, so I mean one score overall. 
Yeah, overall, Frost because there are elements like of all. each one that we kind of like. Yeah. We like the bass, we like the raspberry, mm -hmm. but we're gonna switch it up a little bit. So there's no really true representation here of what it's yeah. gonna become. Sure. But uh, um, overall, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So we're the, the score, huh? Yeah. All right, man. All right, so Chris. So um, out of the five, uh, hop five scale? hop scale. The five, five. Yeah. The five raspberry scale. All right, Chris. Out of the five hop scale, the five raspberry scale, if you will. Yep. Just for the. How beer. would you rank this beer? So I rank the overall score for all three renditions, mainly the control. I give it a four three. I think okay. it's, it, it, the color is great, the carbonation as we saw. Um, the control was good, the other two seemed, uh, maybe they were shook or something, but carbonation was still there. You could see some heavy tension. Yeah. <laughs> Same. You said 4-3, Chris? 4-3. Yeah, okay. it's, I think it's right on point. Okay. I'm going to say overall 3-7. Um, I like the control the best. I love the idea of adding raspberry. It's probably my favorite fruit. I like that sweetness, I like that taste of it. I like this one because it's it's quite a bit different from our regular whip, um, mainly based on the hops we use, as well as the addition of the fruit. I think there's definitely some areas we can improve upon. I think maybe keep the, the, the bitterness, the hoppiness the same. I think we can add maybe, like Zach said, the orange. I think that's a great idea. I think it'd be a good complement to the uh, raspberry. And then maybe a little bit less raspberry. I think we got something good. So three, seven out of five. Zach, I will go with a solid 4.0. It's a good beer, you know. Um, every rendition, I like all of them. Uh, I think that one five was my favorite. But you know, you add some orange. I think they, like you said, complement each other. So okay. I'm gonna go with 4.0. Nice. I agree. I think it's a four flat. I like the 1.5, like Zach said, the best. Second being the control, third being the three. The okay. three is just too sweet. You know, I think it has a lot of good aspects to it, but it's just too overwhelming in the palate. It's one, one you could drink just one of. Mm -hmm. I would like to go back to the control, keep the citra, add a little bit of orange peel flavor to it, and kind of see where we're at. Right. But I love, you know, the drinkability of this beer. I think it's definitely a solid beer that, you know, it's going to be in, in the stable of ones that we're going to go, you know, and build off of. Which takes some small minor tweaks to it, but great beer. Okay. Great job. You know, it's something different that we've, you know, adding the fruit. We started with Teddy's. Yeah. We, we rolled into this, so we're experimenting with adding different flavor elements. Yeah. So I think that's a, a big win. Yeah. Different application, yeah. Different application. Great big win. experience, yeah. yeah. So that's well, going to give us a overall 4.0. 4.0, hey. Josh is wet. Cheers. Cheers. That's our review. Pine Road Brewing. Josh is wet. 4.0.